An incredible secret is found out. It's that the moon holds all these structures and it's hidden, possibly even naturally, on the surface amongst the hazes, the smokes. Nobody knew there was color on the moon. Nobody knew there was these patches. What are these patches? Check it out. One, two, and three. So these are patches along Bianchini Crater, aside from all the other things that we're seeing, but why is it a wavelength that we can't see? Is it because there's movement there? Is it because these are smokes or hazes? Or as we know, like I showed you guys, it's smaller structures. Here's the platform and there's the path alongside that goes down like a little water slide. And this structure, listen up, we're gonna go see it beside Copernicus Crater, Another structure very similar. And look, here are three patches of smoke, clouds, or haze once again. Anybody know what NASA said about these rectangles that are like all over the moon? No matter what part of the moon phase, these mysterious dark triangles are always there. Copernicus Crater. Top left, Copernicus Crater. And we're zooming into the, uh, I don't know what they are. They're objects that were definitely constructed, maybe even alien, but it's beside Copernicus Crater. New, old, active, inactive, who knows? There's definitely someone up there. There's definitely a recurring pattern to the construction, and we're gonna go see it right after this. Check this out. The lines at the bottom of Copernicus, two green lines meeting up, two purple lines meeting up, and there's a section where we can almost um, see an area where it looks like there's a missing area of pipe or line, whatever it may be. Then after that, we're gonna go see the structure. There it is, that line missing. Now let's go see that structure, just like in the behind sinus iridum, the base long platform with the other lines crossing over top. Of course, always a light source, energy source. We can see a bright spot all the time alongside these areas.
rare it happens, but when a star is very close all the time, like this one, we see the surface of the moon on the dark side, which should be actually hidden because it's only a crescent moon. So, you know, are the stars closer? We even see Aristarchus there uh, flickering on the surface, which, which is rare because in reality, it's it should be dark, right? I will be documenting these lines to be sure there's no construction going on, and if so, we'll be able to, to see it for sure. I've secluded myself in my researches and I'm, I'm far, so far gone now that I'm not going to probably ever stop searching for truth and I want you all to really know that I appreciate you, each and every one of you, for being here supporting the channel.
As NASA heads to the moon in 2020, I'll be heading to Arizona, USA, Martin Holmes, Arizona Carefree Observatory. Houston, say again, please.